That's it right now, Tina. What's up, YouTubers? It's Crown Spatcher here, back here with another video for everybody. And today, we're gonna be talking about Fantasy Star, alright? You don't know what Fantasy Star is? Fantasy Star is a huge MMORPG game that's really big in Japan. Honestly, I do, I remember this game, honestly, from the PS2. I remember a friend having this game on the PS2, and it was called Fantasy Star, but, you know, it was a different Fantasy Star game. And, honestly, also, I also watched the uh, anime for this game as well so you know the anime was actually pretty solid i didn't have high hopes for the anime when i first watched the anime but you know honestly it was actually quite enjoyable um and that kind of got me interested in fantasy star overall you know i'm kind of intrigued now and you know i'm seeing lately that fantasy star online 2 is supposed to be coming to the ps4 xbox one and the switch sometime in like spring i think is supposed to be the time it came which is crazy because this game originally released back in like 2012 in japan it's 2012, 2013, one of those years. It was, I believe, 2012, though. And it's crazy, because, like, yeah, like, that game has been out. For, this game has been out for a while now. Like, a while. And it's crazy that this game is just now coming over here. Like, it's just, just now coming over here. So, like, it's crazy. You know, that, you gotta understand, like, how is that gonna work? I think they said this game is gonna be cross platform. So, you mean the PS4 player is gonna be Xbox, and the PS4 is gonna be with the Switch. You know, you get the, you get the gist, right? And, Basically, you know, Fantasy Star is going to be something that I'm actually going to be quite interested in. You know, I'm intrigued to see what this game brings to the table. Like I said before, I watched the anime adaption. You know, I had a lot of fun watching that. It was pretty interesting, but I'm really more intrigued about the story now. You know, I'm curious to see what this game is really truly about. You know, seeing how far this game really is, how far it goes, and, you know, all the other cool things. And the weapons and stuff in this game was really dope. The armors, I like the way the characters look. You know, overall, it just has a really dope design for our RPG game. And honestly, you know, Fantasy Star, I heard a lot of people was asking for this game for quite some time, apparently, like, Fantasy Star on two, Online 2 is, like, a game, one of those games that people have been asking for a while now. I mean, some people have been playing it, you know, Japanese and, you know, just having, like, English, somebody English translated, you know, with English subtitles over and playing the game. But still, though, there's a lot of people who have not played this game, and I am one of these people who have not played this game. So I'm really am kind of, you know, hyped for this game that I am coming for. You know the springtime and hopefully this game will indeed be something a lot of fun to play and i'm kind of intrigued though i'm interested about what the game will even be bringing like new to the table like would it be the same stuff from the japan version or would they be adding more stuff because since how they're bringing it over to the west now you know maybe they want to add some new stuff you know for the u.s players but i feel like maybe they may not be the case and you know, maybe they just keep all the same stuff because at this point now since it's been <laughs> It's been a long time since 2012, right? So that means they had plenty of time to add up more stuff to the game, like plenty of DLCs, plenty of new games, plenty of new, you know, plenty of new everything to the game. Like, you know, there's probably a lot of stuff in this game you could do, and there's no telling how far in levels you can go now. So, of course, you guys probably should check that out. Some gameplay, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of gameplay to look at. You know, Japanese streamers probably stream this game a lot. And even English players over here probably stream this game playing it in Japanese. But, you know, overall, though, I feel like Fantasy Star should have been one of those games that should have been already over here like a long, long time ago. Like, honestly, not entirely sure what took this game so long to make it over here. Because it's like, ooh, like why? Why does this game take so long? Like, why does this game did not release? Most time when games get released like this in Japan, they end up at least coming back, you know, getting released in the U.S., Maybe like maybe two two years later, two or three years later, this game got released like six, almost seven years later, if not more, you know. And this is crazy, cause like, you know, you would have thought they would release it a lot sooner. Who knows? You guys tell me what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See. Ya.